Good morning and welcome to Brentwood Baptist Church. I'm Steve Smith, your host for today's Countdown to Worship. You know, Easter Sunday is just two weeks away and I trust you've already found the invite cards that are located in your bulletin. While our mission is to connect others to Jesus Christ throughout the entire year, we know that some of your unconnected friends might be more likely to attend church on Easter. So please be praying for your unconnected friends, neighbors, and co-workers and use these cards to invite them to attend church with you on Easter Sunday. We would also like to encourage our members to attend the 7 a.m. service or one of the venue services in Hudson Hall at 911 or 1111 to make room for our guests. If you're a first time guest, we want to thank you for worshiping with us today. We're glad you're here and we'd love to have a record of your visit. Please take a moment to fill out a communication card located in the back of the pew in front of you and drop it in the offering plate a little later in the service. This is also a great way for members to update your contact information and on the back, there's a place for you to let us know how we can be praying for you. Now let's take a look at this week's announcements. It's really just a fact of life. Marriage comes, some assembly required. And that can be a challenge with pieces like finances, communication, patience, honesty. How do you put all that together and keep from becoming a marriage in crisis? Maybe you start here, Saturday night, March 27th. Enjoy a dinner for two, then assemble your night with two of any six topics from the marriage menu. Dinner starts at 5 p.m. So reserve your spot now at brentwoodbaptist.com slash some assembly required. On Sunday, April 4th, we'll celebrate Easter Sunday here at the church, which marks the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But the week leading up to Easter Sunday is what we call Holy Week. And there's a couple of significant events that'll be happening in the life of the church that week that we want to make you aware of. Here at the church, we'll be starting our Holy Week events on Wednesday, March 31st, as we offer the Living Last Supper in Wilson Hall. It'll be from six to seven o'clock. It will be a marketplace style dinner and evening where families and others open to anyone and everyone free of charge can experience what it would have been like to be with Jesus and the disciples on the night that he had the Last Supper with them. And then on Thursday, April 1st, we'll be offering a Maundy Thursday worship style service all day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the Baskin Chapel. This is an opportunity for you and friends or family to come and observe communion together. It's a self-guided time where we thank Christ and remember the sacrifice he made of sacrificing his body and his blood so that we can experience forgiveness through his work that he accomplished on the cross. And then on Friday, April 2nd, again in Baskin Chapel, at noon, we want to invite you, friends and family, to join us for a serious and reverent service as we remember Christ's body being sacrificed for the forgiveness of our sins. And on Easter morning, I want to remind you about the different ways you and your family can worship with us. We'll have three worship services in the worship center at 7, 9, and 11 o'clock. We'll also be offering a worship venue in Hudson Hall at 9-11 and also at 11-11, which will have live worship along with live preaching that'll be in HD from the worship center. I want to encourage you to attend one of those services with us and invite friends and family to join you. This morning, our pastor will be continuing the Rethink series with a sermon titled Rethink Community from Mark chapter 3. We'll take a look at what the Bible has to say about the people around you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Now let's spend some time in worship together. <laughs> 